is what I, I love you back. Lord knows I, mwah, mwah. I feel your love and your kisses and your good energy. This is what I'm talking about. This is how you start the week off. Listen, I know it's only been like two days, but I missed y'all. Did you miss me? Yes. Is everybody feeling good? The better question is, did you have a good weekend? Yes? Okay, because I know I did. Them little two little days be blessing my soul and getting me rejuvenated, but I do be missing y'all, so I'm happy to see you today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, let's see. We're going to do something a little new today. I want to show you a guy's photo. This is Dylan Cashball from South Bend, Indiana, with his little cute little dog, Ella. You see him? Oh, he is holding this mug that he sent me. Y'all see the beautiful mug? And it says, take care of yourself. Let me tell you why I love this. Take care of yourself, because my mother used to always say, without your health, you have nothing. And that's why this is important to me. So thank you, Dylan, for encouraging me to take care of myself. Dylan also wrote me a little letter. It was such a sweet little note. I want to share it, share it with you all. Dylan says, hi, Jennifer. This mug reminded me of you because you succeed in everything you do, but I wanted to remind you to always take care of yourself. You are a national treasure, and we love you. That... Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for that, Dylan. This is such a beautiful mug and such a beautiful message because, yes, we have to take care of ourselves. So thank you for reminding me of that. You know what I love? Y'all know I love a mug and I love a photo. So if y'all ever want to send me a nice old mug with a nice old saying on it, I love you too with a good old kiss like you just sent me. <laughs> so if you want to send your mug, Mug, your picture, and your mug. Go to jenniferhudsonshow.com or our socials to find out how you can do that, okay? Yeah. All right, y'all want to have some fun now? Because I want to play a game, and we call this Deal Breakers. Y'all ready to play? Yeah. Is it just me, or do y'all like that dramatic music, too? <laughs> One more time. Y'all want to play the game Deal Breakers? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop playing with that. Okay. When it comes to relationships, we all have them, and I'm going to share these deal-breaking scenarios, and you're going to tell me how you really feel about it. Y'all can handle that, right? Yeah. All right, here's the first deal-breaker. They're the sweetest person you've ever dated, but they don't get along with your family. Hmm. Someone, give me something. Stand on up. What's uh, your name and Diana, where are you from? Diana, and I'm here in West Hollywood. West Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> that really wouldn't be a deal breaker for me. Okay. Um, I really don't think that as you get older, it doesn't matter. If you got a crazy family, you got a crazy family. <laughs> so you know what? That would not be a deal breaker at okay. all. Okay. Anybody else? Thank you for that. Hi, I'm Carlos Mulia from North Hollywood and beautiful wife, Andre. Hi. That is a deal breaker. Um, she got along with the family and I got to see the family. That's my love. Yeah. I'm dad, my mom. So yes, that would be a deal breaker. Okay. Hmm. I see a lot of hands going up, but let's see. That's a tough one because I think it depends on the scenario. So if you're in good standards with your family, right, you want to make sure you got a, a partner that can exist with the family. But if you're not, and then your, your partner is like gives you the good energy, that makes it different. So I'm going to have to say, eh, I love my family, so it will be a deal breaker. <laughs> Okay, keep those hands popping up. Okay, here's the next deal breaker. They're the perfect partner, but they don't let you have, ooh, attractive friends. That's interesting, y'all. 
I think we all stuck. We all got the same face. Hello, what's your name and where are you from? Hi, I'm Ladiani, and I'm originally from Boston, Mass. Oh. Yes. <laughs> to me, I would say that's a deal breaker because he's insecure with the people that I have around me. If he has trust in me and if he's confident in who he is as a man, then he shouldn't be intimidated by me having attractive friends. That's the, oh, oh, we all on one accord. Let me look around one more time. Well, I guess we said what we said. I think you, I think you are very right. So we are gonna say that's the deal breaker. You should have enough confidence in yourself, okay? No, you ain't got to worry about nobody else, right? See, look, we are family. We all on one accord. Look at that. <laughs> ain't nobody, everybody like, no, move on, Jennifer. That's it. Okay, well, here's another deal breaker. They are, ooh, they are 35, and they have a great job, but they still live at home with their family, their parents. <laughs> oh, we still on one accord. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because you've been waiting. What's your name and where are you from? Is it okay? Hi, I'm Antina. Hi. I'm Chicago, Illinois. Ah! <laughs> Chicago in the house. Um, well, I'm 54 and fine, right? Yes, you so, are. So, <laughs> 35, have a great job. That's good. So, why don't you have a place to stay? Why do you still stay with your parents? Is the question. That's the question. And you need to get out of your mama's house and build a house for me. She said what she said and built a house for me. Do you have a different opinion? What's your name and where are you from? Hi, my name is Cameron Blake. I am from Compton, California. Oh. Compton in the house. Um, I'm gonna say it's not a deal breaker because we all been through 2020 and now prices for houses and anywhere to live is ridiculous. So if I got a roof over my head, clothes on my back and water running, I think we good. And he got a good job too. He's investing, that's good. <laughs> that's tough right there, thank you. Perspective, it's different opinions. I think I mean, I may need one more, cause that's tough. Anybody else got something to say? Uh oh, here we go again. Y'all say it with y'all. Ma'am, please, I would, I would love to hear from you. What's your name and where are you from? My name's Karen Stewart. I'm from Hanford, California. All right. And um, I don't think it'd be a deal breaker because I met my husband and he was 27 years old and he was still living at home. Mm -hmm. And I am still with him to this date and 35 years later. So oh. um, if he was 35, I would still have accepted him because I love him. So, you now, know, love means everything. Do you have your own house now? Yes, we have our own <laughs> house. Yes, we have our own house. For 23 years, we've had a house. Yay! Beautiful. <laughs> Birthday. Happy birthday! Thank you for spending it here with us. You're welcome. I hope You're you welcome. have a great one. I will, thank you. Okay. Uh, well, I guess it's not a deal breaker then, huh? Not a deal breaker. With my dramatic music. <laughs> okay, we got another. <laughs> Here's another deal breaker. They're the best kisser, but they don't like your career. Let me think of what I think about that. Hello, what's your name and where are you from? My name's Taylor. I'm from Dallas, Texas, but I live in San Diego. Mm. <laughs> I would say that would be a deal breaker because I, would, I think you would have some underlying insecurity issues that I'm not about to deal with. Deal breaker. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Anyone has a different opinion? Hello, what's your name and where are you from? Hi, I'm Robin. I'm originally Australian, but I live oh. here in California. Nice. That is a deal breaker because anybody can be a good kisser in the right moment. See, it was another little nugget in there. You heard that? Well, I would say it's a deal breaker for me because what I do is very much who I am. So if you don't like that, then you don't like me. And ain't no reason for us to be together. Okay? <laughs> okay, we got one more. The next deal breaker. Okay, they're super hot, but they don't own a car. <laughs> Is that vain? <laughs> Hello, what's your name and where are you from? 
Hello, Jennifer. My name is Rumi Valor. Oh, I am originally from a very small town called Mount Bayou, Mississippi, but oh. now I'm in Riverside, California. Interesting. And today is my birthday as well. A lot of birthdays! Yeah. So if they're super hot, but they don't own a car, that's not even up for conversation, negotiation, or even breathing my air. <clears throat> oh. So at this point now, Jennifer, with women being so independent, cars just regular for us, not having a car, you know you don't stand a chance. You have to really bring in to be a superstar these days. You're not gonna go nowhere in my car, young man. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Ooh, child, that was it. Anybody else got a different opinion? She said what she said. Hello. Hi, I'm what? Rosie. I'm from Commerce, California. Nice you, Rosie. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I don't want no scrub. There it is. If you know, now you know. Yes! Y'all are quick and to the point. Listen, see, 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 I'm gonna tell on myself. I may be different now, but when I was in high school, I ended up taking my best friend, Walter, he's somewhere floating around here, cause he had a car, and I made my boyfriend at the time stay at home. Because I'm like, you, listen, my mama is not driving me to prom, okay? So, sorry, boyfriend, you don't get to go to prom. I'm taking the friend with the car. So, I'm gonna have to say, that's a deal breaker for me. <laughs> At least it was then. Thanks for sharing, guys. We have a great show. We'll be right back. You know our first guest from shows like Happy Endings and The Mindy Project, and his new movie is called Who Invited Charlie? Please welcome Adam Pally. It smells so nice here. Do you like it? It smells great. <laughs> it really does. It smells great. Oh, my goodness. Are you comfortable? Because I like to make it feel like the house. I'm very comfortable. It does, it does feel like a house, except there's a bunch of people. Oh, my guess. They have, and they just the cheering for you. Look at them. Ain't uh, they beautiful? Yeah. Yes. They came to give you all this love. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I really need it. <laughs> I have a deep hole that only the love of strangers can fill. <laughs> So, have you been on a Warner Brothers lot before? I have, yeah. I've been around. Um, I've been, I've been, I've been in the game for a minute, mm -hmm. and uh, so I've spent some time here for like Conan used to shoot here, mm -hmm. and then mostly I've not gotten parts here. So you did a lot of a auditions. lot of auditioning, and then like walking, <laughs> walking out <laughs> with nothing. So that's your memory. That's my mem my memory. For some reason, it's always <laughs> raining when I'm at the Warner Brothers oh, lot. Oh, goodness. And I'm like walking out being like, that did not go well. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I won't be a superhero. <laughs> well, you, you grew up in Chicago? Uh, I spent a lot of time in Chicago as a kid, yeah. What's some of your memories from Chicago then? Well, we lived in uh, Skokie, oh. which is um, the last stop out on the L. And my, m I, I don't have a, like, a ton of like, memories about the city because I was so young. But I do remember this one place called Venture in Evanston, which was like um, a home goods, but they also had hot dogs. Oh, so it was about the food? <laughs> well, yeah, but it was like my mom would go and like get like, you know, new, new dish towels or like, you know, <laughs> like uh, uh, candelabra or something. And she'd be like, go sit over there. And I would just like house hot dogs. That sounds like my son. And, <laughs> and I remember, so like, I, that franchise, I always remember a venture. Nice. Uh, but I don't think I've seen one since. They may have, they may have gone away, but. Yeah, I think so, because you know I still live in Chicago. Oh, uh, you do? But where? I'm gonna look for them hot dogs. Oh yeah, where in Chicago, where are you from and then where do you? Well, I grew up in Inglewood. Okay. But yeah, but then I, I moved out and now I'm here. You're a White Sox fan? I, well, I'm any Sox fan, as long as you let me sing for that game. I don't really care. All right. <laughs> it's all about the anthem for me. Right. Yes. Okay. You're a big fan of the anthem. Yes. Yes. You know, but for real, when I would drive past, like, the stadium, uh -huh. y'all, I still do. I dream about singing, like, in the middle of the field. You've never sang... I know, that's weird, right? The national anthem? Don't you... Yeah. Well, not there. That's in, that seems and insane I, And I've sang for a lot of things, but I still ride past and say, imagine me singing the national... <laughs> I really do this, y'all. <laughs> it, so it sounds like you and I have a similar hole that we need to be... <laughs> Filled with the love of strangers, <laughs> even to this day. Maybe, maybe it's a Chicago thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so tell me, you've been married for 15 years. Congratulations. I will be, uh, thank look, you. Look, you look surprised. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> How old are your kids? My kids are 11, 10, and 9. 
Or five. <laughs> yeah, 11, 10, and five. 11, 10, and five. I haven't slept in 11 years. <laughs> I love you. OK, and your son is named Drake? My youngest, my baby is named Drake. Is he named after Drake? Yes, he's named after Drake. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I don't think there's a better Jewish rapper. <laughs> you might be right. So I feel like I, I feel like that's the, it, 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 it's good. And he does, um, he, he, he's funny. He's, he's precocious. And so he, uh, like, will tell people, they'll be like, what's your name? He'll be like, Drake. And they'll always be like, did you say Drake? Like, the rapper? And then he'll go, yeah, but you can call me Drizzy. <laughs> and how old is he? He's five. He's five saying that? Yeah. Oh, he sounds like he got a lot of personality. Oh, he's got a lot of personality. Do your kids know you're famous? Thank you so much for calling me famous. <laughs> um, seriously, <laughs> I, uh, I don't think anyone in my family would call me famous. <laughs> I don't think anyone like in my Hollywood, like my manager would say I'm not famous. What? My agents, they'd be like, I don't know who you think you are. Uh, <laughs> so thank you for calling me famous. Um, I think my kids know that like, you know, I, they, they, they know something's going on. You know, like when a stranger asks for a picture with uh -huh. their dad, they're like, what's going on here? You know, like, so I, dad to them. yeah, cause I'm just their dad, you know? But like my daughter especially is so kind. She's such a, a, a sweet, girl, she like um, really takes care of people if they want my attention. So like one, we were at an urgy care with her. She had a fever and we brought her in and the person behind the desk checked her in and then was like, I, by the way, I'm a, a fan. Can I take a picture? And I was alone with her and I had my baby and he was crying and it was like, you know, one of those days where you just like can't do anything. And I was just like, you know what? I, I would love to, but I'm with my, my kids. I'm yes. so sorry. And we went and got the uh, exam. And then after the exam, my daughter, my daughter gave me such a talking to and then made us go back around oh. to the front. And they were like, oh, he's actually on lunch. She made us, she asked where he was on lunch. We had to walk down to the restaurant that he was at Aww. so I could take a picture with him. <laughs> and, and I was like, really touched, <laughs> really touched. Um, uh, we, I was also late. She made me late, but <laughs> it was sweet. <laughs> it was sweet, and I and I, I I definitely was like, oh, that's that's nice that she she cares she about that. people. Yeah, that's very sweet. Will you stick around for a little bit? Yeah. yeah. All right. More with Adam. We'll be right back. Well, it's nice to meet you, Charlie. So, what do you have on my husband? I, I don't have anything. I just answer the question. I um um found his wallet because we hung out the other. Day, so. Did you like my husband when you first met him? What? No. Yes. When I first met him the last time or when I first met him like ever? Do you have know. trouble telling the truth? Not generally, but I am very nervous right now by your line of questioning. I still got it. <laughs> We're back with Adam. Tell everyone what Who Invited Charlie is all about. Um, who, invited, uh, who Invited Charlie is a really funny comedy about... Um, a kind of down and out guy who reconnects with an old roommate of his over the pandemic and kind of makes himself uh, a house guest at a, at a nervous time. Mm, okay. And you had your first breakout role when you were in your 20s. Yes. So can you enjoy perks of being a celebrity? Uh, again, like? thank you so much for calling me a celebrity. A celebrity. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I, can I enjoy the perks? I, not really. I don't think um, there are really, like, uh, like, what perks? Like, if I called a restaurant and was like, do you have a table? And they're like, no. And I'm like, well, do you have a table for Adam Pally? They'd be like, <laughs> who are you talking about? <laughs> you know, like, that. so I don't really think I, I, I enjoy any of those perks. But it is nice that people, like, like when they're like, oh, I like your work. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. So, okay. I, I get what you mean. Okay, yeah. you know, you must meet like a lot of cool people. You met Chance the Rapper recently. I did, I heard he's your friend. He is? Yes, I did meet. Chicago. <laughs> Chicago, yes, I did meet Chance. Uh, it was a couple years ago, my buddy uh, John was hosting SNL uh -huh. and I went to, to watch um, and uh, Chance was a musical guest and, and, and so after we were ha all hanging out in the dressing room 
and he kind of like um, came up to me and he was like, uh, I know you from somewhere. Like, what have you been in? And I was like, oh, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, you know, because like that never goes well. Because you're like, say something, they're like, no, I don't. So I was like, uh, happy endings. And sure enough, he was like, no, I have never uh, <laughs> seen that. And I was like, oh, it's all right. He's like, no, what else? What else? I know I know you. And I was like, we really don't have to do this. <laughs> like, tonight is your night. <laughs> I am just here with my friend. He's like, no, what else are you in? So I was like, ah, um, the Mindy Project. And he's like, ah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> and I was like, Truly, we don't need to do this. <laughs> you know, and he was like, one more, one, one more. more. I was like, I really, am, I really don't. And I was like, have you seen Iron Man 3? And he was like, no, only the first two. And I was like, well, <laughs> I'm out of them. <laughs> but he still knew you, right? Well, now, now I think he does, because I, I uh, um, taxed him. But they all go unread. I can't with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here. Will you Thank come you back? So much. I will. We know you. We love you. And we want you to come back, okay? Thank you. All right. Who invited Charlie is in select theaters and streaming now. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. You know how I love playing games on the show. So this time, I thought I'd get a little help from my friend, Jerry O'Connell. So let's play Pictionary. I'm sitting down. Ah! Hello, and welcome to Pictionary. Our first team captain is Paige. Filling out her team is Josh. He just celebrated his two year anniversary with competitor Devon. Our next team captain is America's dream girl, Jennifer Hudson. Finishing out her team is Devon. And now the host of The Talk and Pictionary, Jerry O'Connell. Welcome to Pictionary. Everybody knows how to play Pictionary. One person draws and their teammates guess. All right, the first round we are going to play is called Sketch or Steal. Teams will alternate guessing, and if they can't guess it right in 15 seconds, the other team has a chance to steal. Each word is worth one point, okay? Our first category is things you find at a resort. We've all been on vacations. Things you find at a resort. Jennifer, this is your show. Get on up here. You are going to be sketching first. OK. Things you find at a resort. You can use colors. We colors. have all kinds of colors here. Things you find at a resort. OK. We got this, mama. OK. You have 15 seconds. Okay. Sketch. OK. Wait. Devon, oh, here we go. Uh, Baby food. Here we go. Uh, Hold on a second. On, come on. Three quick seconds. Um, Things you find um, at a resort. Flowers. Uh-uh. Um, it's a uh, cocktail. Uh, um, uh, come on, Mama. I don't know. OK, Ooh. great drawing. Great use of color. Team Paige, you have a chance to steal. <laughs> Talk about it with Josh. They're talking about it. Do what it. do we got? You got, you got. Water fountain. Uh, guys, it is not a water fountain. This is obviously a palm tree. Come on, everybody. Oh. You don't see the tree? That's OK. okay. In the okay. grass? The next one. We got the next one. Jennifer, you did a great job. Have it a seat. It great, really. Thank you. Paige, <laughs> get on up here. We got this, Paige. 15 okay. seconds on the clock. OK, we got okay. this. Josh, lock it in with Paige. Red. Here we go. Things you find at a resort. Okay, got this. Sketch. I can't see. Oh, God. Uh, a line. Um, it is a seat. It's a chair. It's a table. It's a cocktail. Yeah. It's a margarita. Yeah. 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 Ah. Yeah. Can I just yeah. say? Can I just say, <laughs> Paige, how good does it feel when you get it right? Feels so good, given the fact that that's what it I looks mean, like. Look, we're not, we're. This is a judgment-free zone. This is one funky margarita right here. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Good job. It's good a job. little funky. It doesn't matter. It got the job done. Devon, get on up here. <laughs> you got this. I, 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 OK. 50. They get to help me out, right? 15 seconds on the clock. Jennifer, lock it in with Devon. Here we go. Things you find at a resort. Sketch. Come on, Jennifer. Palm trees. You got this. A cabana. Close. Close. What yes. am I looking at? Come on. Uh, Jennifer. A mushroom? It's a uh, uh, sand beach. It's island. Right there. See it. 
Great. Um, job, Devon. Great job, Team Paige. What am I you looking can at? Steal this for a point. You did a great job, Devon. Paige and Josh um, are talking about it. Rainforest. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Um, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I can see why. You Sorry, can see it's a there's rainforest. A, there's a lot going on. I can see it. There is a lot going on. This is obviously like clouds. This yeah. is precipitation. Those and like when you're drops. underneath, as Rihanna would say, you I can said, stand under my umbrella. umbrella. Of the rainbow. No, we were looking for umbrella. Oh. Umbrella. Uh, I, said that. I didn't say that. Umbrella. I don't, I don't know how. I mean, uh, look, accurate Devon, accurate. it is a little, it is a little mushroom-like. Jennifer is so giving good. you a little side eye. All right, have a seat. Come on, hopefully this will go well. Josh, you guys got a point. You got this. You got this. You got this. Get on up here, Josh. 15 seconds on the clock. The category is things you find you got this. at a resort. Okay. Page. Yep. Sketch. <laughs> things you find at a resort. Yes. We're dancing to the Pictionary song. There it is. Come on. Oh, okay. Page. Beach. Okay. Beach is Beach. correct. <laughs> wow, they're on fire. Yes. Hold on. Yes. Yeah, give me some, yeah, give me some. Fire. Hold, hold, the, hold line. the line. Thank you, babe. Hold the line. All righty, hold we have played line. one round of Pictionary. T Page is in the lead. Woo! Woo! Everybody's game. We got a lot more Pictionary after the break. Tossing it over to you, Jennifer. <laughs> we'll be right back. Welcome back to Pictionary on the Jennifer Hudson Show. We've got one more round for all the marbles. This round is called Choose Your Words. During the break, each team picked out two words for the other team to draw. This round is words that start with the letter P, everyone. Words that start with the letter P. Jennifer, this is your show, so oh, you're up first. Oh, mama, we got this. Remember, words that start. <laughs> words that start team with the letter P. It. Here's your word. You get 60 seconds. Devon, you got to really look this way and concentrate, OK? seconds. Sketch. Ooh. Okay. Let's start uh, with the letter P. Devon. Uh, Popsicle. Oh, uh, palm tree. Uh, um, it seems that playing oh. ball, playing. Ooh. Um, a lot of sparkle in that. Uh, sparkle person, there. Sparkle. 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 Person sparkle. Sparkling. I don't. Come on. Come on, no. I'm a, I need something okay. else. Okay. Come on, uh, uh, oh. love, heart, heart. Uh, oh. They're on their Person with heart, lots of love. Sparkling, P point of heart, point, point. Wow. 20 seconds. Uh, um, uh, I don't know what else to draw you. They're on um, their pointing. Um, it's sparkling, there's a lot sparkling. of love. Someone's on oh, their knee. Wait, wait, yeah. People. Start, uh, words to start with the letter P. They're on their knees. Uh, we have a jewel. Person. There's love. We ran out of time. Yeah, we was, were looking for, was, Devon, we were looking for proposal. Proposal. Oh, proposal. You don't see them on their knee? It was what very else close. I got to do? Oh, okay. It's a proposal. Wait, what's, what's going it's on here? It's a proposal. Here? I wanted to start with, I won. And then from there, I wanted to say, I had a great life when we met. I was very fulfilled. And then you came along, and you rocked my world, and made it even better and greater. And um, we've been together pretty much since we first met, because you showed up in your U-Haul. I should have been a red flag for me, but it wasn't. Um, <clears throat> but I, I love you. I didn't know what U-Haul was. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, but I love you, and we've had fun, and we just keep having fun, and we just keep hanging out, and I think we should just keep having fun and keep hanging out. Um, I love you. I love your silliness, your ridiculousness, your goofiness. I love the body obviously doesn't hurt, you know? You, Jay Hud always quotes mom, and mom says, I ain't mad at it. So as your mom would say, I ain't mad at it. Um, but most of all, I love your heart. And Aww. I just want to keep doing life with you. And if you will have me, I think we should do that. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> yes! Yes! You said yes! <laughs> you two played an amazing game. 
I think you need to celebrate. So you know what? We're going to get you both a five-night stay for two at Garza Blanca Resort in Spa Cancun, where you'll stay in an ocean view suite and dine on gourmet cuisine while relaxing poolside, celebrating your engagement. There we oh go. Oh, my God. Congratulations. Oh, my, oh my God. So Y'all, this is truly the happy place. You can catch Jerry and Pictionary every day on this station and others. So go check out your local listing. We'll be right back. And congratulations. You may have seen our next guest blowing up the internet with her dance moves. She's only nine years old. Give it up for Maya Ray. You're only nine years old. How long you been dancing? Since I was two years old. Since you, yeah. And the funny thing was that I used to watch these funny shows, and there used to be dancers on them. And it's really funny. I used to get up and dance. My feet, it was so funny. Like, I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> Do you feel extra good when you dance? Yes, it feels like it, it's, it's inspiring to dance. Because, like, for example, if I'm happy, I could just express that when I'm dancing, you know? You're such an artist, such a star. That is amazing. So your video went viral. How many views did you get? 4.9 million views. 4.9 million views. Oh my God. Like, what was it like knowing that many people watched your video? I was like, um, me? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I was speechless. I was like, I didn't know that they were gonna, that they were gonna post me on there on their page and then I was gonna go viral. I was like, me? <laughs> I have to ask you this. Who inspired you to dance? Like, did you, who did you see that you saw dancing? Like, Ciara. Ciara. Beyonce, Jenna Jackson. Yes. And Jennifer Lopez. Oh my God. And you know what? You like all of them. They are the type of performers and dancers that even if you can't dance, you want to dance after watching you dance. And I think that's how you just made all of us feel. <laughs> that Thank was you. amazing. Thank you. Okay, you got to work with Mariah Carey and Debbie Allen. What was that like? I was like, when Mariah Carey, because mm -hmm. I went, I danced for her for her Christmas tour. Yes. I was like, when she first stepped, like when she first stepped in front of me, I was like, <laughs> that's Mariah Carey in front of me. <laughs> like, you know, me. <laughs> that's what you were thinking when yeah. you were up there. And she also hugged me on stage. I was like, Maya, if you don't keep this cool, oh my goodness, I could blow this. Aww. Was like, so, so like mind blowing, it was like crazy to me. Wow. And also when I met Debbie Allen, it was like, that's my favorite dancer in the whole wide yes. world. Like she's my idol, it's like so amazing when she danced, like that just makes me want to dance with her too. Mm-hmm. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a choreographer for Janet Jackson, Ciara, Beyonce. Yes. And Jennifer Lopez. Okay, y'all heard that? Call them out. I believe that you will. You are already on your way. Okay, so do you have siblings? No, I'm the only child. You're the only child. So wh where do you think you get it from? Do you think you, you, does your mom or your dad, either your parents dance? Um, yes, they used to dance when they were in high school, but I think I get it mostly from my dad and mom, like both. Both? Oh, that's amazing. Well, the next time you go viral, we have something for you to for you to use when you go viral next time. Can we give you a gift? Yes. All right. We had to throw you a little J Hud swag up up in there, girl. <laughs> Thank, Thank you me. so much for coming. You are so amazing. I'm sure you're gonna choreograph everybody and you're the new face of it all. Keep up the amazing work and keep shining. Thank, Thank you. you for being here. We'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.